Hello everyone and welcome. Now, I've been around the uh, Spatoon com competitive community. Not really in it, but really around it, and I noticed not a lot of people talking about this. Bomb Rush. And why it's not necessarily that good. At least in competitive play, it's not. In solo queue, people use Bomb Rush all, all the time, whether it be in Glam Blitz, sometimes even in Tower. And especially in Splat Zones, which Bomb Rush, you would think, would be the best special for, you know, because it can cap a zone by itself, usually. But the reason why it's not used in competitive play and not necessarily that good anymore is because there are specials now that outpaint not only outpaint the bo bomb rush but also well eat the bombs and there are three particular specials that do that and all of them are used in splat zones and that is splashdown ultra stamp and the worst culprit of all booyah bomb now booyah bombs you see them all the time in X rank splat zones, probably even the lower rank of splat zones, and especially in competitive splat zones. Now, I'm not sure if teams like to go for one Booyah Bomb user or two. I know they at least like to go for one Ink Armor user. But nevertheless, all three of those specials are used in splat zones. And they all nullify bombs. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, yeah, that's obvious, so what's your point? My point is, to make Bomb Rush better, maybe we should, like, take away one, one or two of the specials that eat the bombs. And what I mean by that is, if we want to improve Bomb Rush, there are too many specials that eat them, so... And how I was thinking of fixing that is simple. Do you, a lot of you guys who played Splatoon 1, remember Ink Strike? Well, how did bombs react to Ink Strike? Did they just disappear in it? No. If you threw a bomb at an Ink Strike, it instantly exploded. And I think they should add that to Booyah Bomb. Instead of having a bomb just disappear inside the Booyah Bomb thing as it's painting, why not just have the bomb explode on impact? That, that way it also nerfs people throwing Booyah Bomb at their feet. Which I see a lot of players do that. And it, it would be kind of like a, a side nerf, I guess, to a Booyah Bomb, but not necessarily. It would also be kind of a buff to, to um the bombs. Now, yes, you could technically over outpaint a Booyah Bomb with your main weapon, but we're not talking about main weapons here. We're talking about the bombs. And I think that that would be a good way to go, since Booyah Bomb by itself is already kind of like a, um, a ink strike, just without the, uh, the game pad. That's how I view Booyah Bomb at the very least. And with Hammer, you swing hammer and the bombs just disappear. I think they should just get rid of that entirely. I think the hammer should have zero effect on bombs. That's how I personally feel. And Splashdown... Splashdown's the only one I would leave alone. I think Splashdown should really be the only special that will just nullify a bomb. Because it just makes sense to me. So really the only specials I think they should touch with that are... Uh, Booyah Bomb and Hammer. And I think by doing those things alone, I think Bomb Rush could actually be a more viable special. Not necessarily in the meta, but just not as terrible, if you know what I mean. Because the one of the bomb's things is that they're good for Splat Zones, and this, the way things are now, three specials just pretty much make them irre irrelevant. Entirely. I mean, Splashdown is already turning into the, uh, 
the anti-special. And what I mean by that, it destroys Booyah Bomb, it completely destroys Bubbles, it eats bombs, it pretty much nullifies anything underneath it. As well as stuff slightly above it, because you know it's Splashdown, it has a hitbox that's upwards, but... Anyway... Splashdown's good. Uh, I think they should uh, do those things with the Booyah Bomb and the Hammer. I don't think Hammer should be nullifying bombs. I, I don't know why they have that as a thing. I'm okay with the hammer's slight invisibility when shooting, uh, shooting it from the front. But I don't think it should nullify bombs. I, I don't. And the reason why people use hammer for splat zones is because, you know, you just hammer along the zone and you paint it. For those who didn't know. <laughs> but, yeah, if they do those, if they do those things, will bombs be in the meta? Maybe you might see a bomb rush user here and there. The, I think it would dep depend on the comp and the map and the rot and the, the player as well. So yeah, tell me what you think down below in the, in the comment section because I would like to know what other how other people feel about that. This is how I personally feel, and uh, I'd like to hear from you guys. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for my phone. Like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for my phone there. And uh, and share this video if you if you think I made a good point. And uh, sorry for my bad speech. This is the first time I'm doing this, so please excuse that and uh, keep the criticism light. Because keep in mind, it's my first time actually doing a commentary like this. But again, like, comment, subscribe, all that if you're feeling generous. And, uh, I'll see all you guys next time.